Hey, Shalom and Markings of Karma Kapash and Jimmy Slonin giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chakodash. Want to give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and Shalom out there to the whole for let's push in its truth and all sincerity. Back again with another video. Uh, I just want to base this uh, this lesson around this, um, you know, this chapter here in Isaiah 32 from around verse 5, man. Because I found, you know, I was reading through this the other day off another video I did the other day, right? And I just found this, um, Interesting, you know, considering the times that we're currently currently living in and how things are, you know, turning out, you know, that, you know, the, the whole world is going to shit right now. You know, these leaders that we have, um, you know, around the world are really not for the people, right? They're destroying everything, okay, and, and, and making everybody's life harder, um, you know, full of corruption, you know, selfish, wicked, intense, you know, agendas afoot, really, you know. And um, they're not here serving you, man. They're, they're, they're here serving their masters, man. You know, the elites. Okay, pushing forward their agendas, man. And, and you're, you are uh, cannon fodder, right? You are what the elites want to control and manipulate, right? And this is what these leaders are here doing, man. Making, you know... Life incredibly difficult, right? You you think these are just random events that are happening around the world right now, but these are all orchestrated events, you know, here to um, kind of crush the people, all right? To to the extent where, you know, they want to, you know, put them implantables in you, you know, MLTB, right? Um, but yeah, people are being, uh, you know. They're getting frustrated with their leaders and they're seeing all this corruption, right? And it's just, you know, the time that, time that we're living in, the most has got these things coming to a close, man, and these things are, uh, you know, coming out and, and are, are at play, you know? So I'm going to read this, it's from Isaiah 32, verse 5, and then, you know, just break this down, right? Because I had to look up some of these words, you know, to see what they, what they meant, because... Um, you know, chill, you know, it's a, not a very really used word these days. Uh, so I had to go up and look at some of, that, some of these words out, right, to get a, a better understanding of what's being said here, right? So um, Isaiah 32 verse 5 said, the vile person, okay, which, you know, we go into this word vile, it says foolish, right? And we know, you know, the fool have said in his heart there is no God. We know Esau is one of those foolish, right? Vile, foolish, senseless, fool. All right, you know he saw one of them. All right, so the vile person shall no more be called liberal. All right, so these foolish people that rule over us, these Edomites, right, shall no more be called liberal. Now, this term liberal here, I think, goes into noble, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, noble, willing, generous, right? Well, noble. Fits, fits the I guess the text the most right considering who these people are meant to be these are meant to be leaders that you know we in a democracy are uh, you know supposed to be voting them based on uh, you know their, their laurels and you know the character of the person right so they we you know we're supposed to be uh, esteeming these people as good people that can rule the country right do the right thing, be honest, be, you know, transparent and whatever, and do right by the people. But all these leaders don't. It doesn't matter who you vote in, right? They, they, they're always really against the people. They, they're always, you know, serving their own agendas or, you know, in this case, the agendas of the elites, right? They serve themselves before the people, really, right? Lie after lie, you know, con con constant lying, constant, um, you know, Defrauding the the poor, right? And you know while you know these elites and these uh you know upper echelon guys are raking in more and more money, man. You know creating that um that greater wealth divide between the poor and the rich. It's just always it's the same. It's the same uh thing going on everywhere. All these corrupt governments, right? So they, and it's been it's been seen that these people are not noble. These are not righteous people. You know, these people can't be trusted. They don't have your best uh, interests at heart. You know? 
That's why people are getting fed up with these leaders, man. That's why they're protesting. That's why they're storming buildings around the world. You know? They want to get you out. But these fools think, oh, if we just put another person in, oh, we can, we can, um, you know, get the country back on track. So all it takes is a, a guy out there, you know, running, talking the right things that you want to hear, and you'll put him in office because you think he's going to do a better job, man, when he ain't. <laughs> he just said that shit to get in the office. You know, these people are fools, man. But some people are waking up, you know. But it's like we said, man, this, this, this world is, you know, these are just puppets, man. Right, it's being run and ruled by these elites. But anyway, the foolish person, the vile person, shall normally be called liberal or noble, nor the churl said to be bountiful. Right, so this world churl here. Where will we at? Uh, all right, scandal knave. Right, but there's a better word that's more commonly used, which is uh, fraudulent. Fraudulent or uh, deceitful, crafty. All right, so we're gonna just use the word fraudulent because or deceitful because you know that's a more common term that you know most people would understand, right? So, and then like I was saying, man, these these people are fraudulent. These people are deceitful, right? So in order to deceitful, we said to be bountiful, right? So the deceitful man or the people, right, the deceitful person. Fraudulent person said to be bountiful. Okay, going into the word bountiful here. Whoops. Right, goes into independent, noble. Okay, something to do with freedom. Right, about shouting out in freedom. But. I'm not going to use that for this one, right? But I'm going to concentrate more on generous and, and perhaps noble, right? To fit the context of this, right? So, said so the, um, the child of the seafood was said to be, you know, noble or generous in terms of beneficial, right? Because uh, so they're here to, meant to be helping us out, right? So that's a noble deed, right? They're, they're being generous, they, you know. And this is what it looks like on the face of it in some cases, right? Because they're handing out all this free money, right? But, <laughs> you know, in order to help the people because the world is going for a tough time right now and the poor people are being affected the most. So we got to do all this stimulus, all this stimulus, you know, all these stimulus packages in, in the world, print that bare money, give people free money and all this business, you know, to cover their energy bills and whatever. Right, but what what are you doing? By doing that, you you're causing mad inflation. You're adding to the problems that exist right now. Okay, just massively printing more and more money off. All right, now the interest rates they gotta go up. People with the, the, with, the, with them 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 higher loans and stuff, and they they're gonna get screwed when these numbers get too high and they can't afford their mortgage payments and whatever. You're really destroying the poor. Okay, it's not helping the poor. You're really destroying the poor. You know, you're yeah, adding to to the issues, man, and and it's you know, uh, you know, catch twenty two situation because, you know, if you don't, uh, let's say, print this money, don't like you're doing nothing, right? People are gonna complain that they can't afford shit, man, but the inflation won't go up as much. <laughs> but um, but you adding this money is gonna cause inflation to go up, and it's gonna cause interest rates to go up. You know. But like I said, it's by design. Okay, it's, it's here to, you know, to collapse the system. All right, to have you completely solely dependent on the government. Okay, through through their, you know, universal basic income, which is going to be, you know, kind of supplied through uh, the MOTB. Right, because cash is going to be destroyed in all of this, man. That's why they're destroying cash. You know, I was just reading a letter today. Um... You know, concerning my boy's schooling, and they're talking about biometrics in the canteen and that, and how they want to do away with credit cards and cash and that kind of stuff, and they, they just want to do the biometric stuff because they want a cashless canteen. Everything's going cashless. They want to get rid of cash. Okay, they want to replace things with CB, CDB, no, what are you, CBDCs, right? You know, 
and they want to get they, they, they want to get rid of your cash out of your banks and out of your pockets, man. Right? Your currency is being degraded all the damn time. Like I said, it's buying you less and less because that's what really you know what inflation really is. All right? So eventually, you know, ain't gonna be worth nothing. Right? And they're gonna move you onto a new system. All right. So yeah. So moving on, verse six now says, "For the vile person or the foolish person will speak villainly, okay, Profan profanity, wickedness, right, and his heart will work iniquity, right, to practice hypocrisy, and to utter error against the Lord, to make empty the soul of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the, of the thirsty to fail." Now you could take this in twofold, right, because. What's happening right now? We know there's a food issue, man. You know, we know there's droughts going on in the world right now. We know there's going to be water shortages too. All right? So, if in a carnal sense, he's causing these things to happen too, man. He's actually going to, you know, cause food to fail, water to fail, you know, that, you know, you won't be able to sustain yourself with that, right? And he's going to he's gonna kind of take a monopoly on that. You know, he's going to be... The, He's gonna be the one to go to for the water and to the food because you're gonna have to take you're gonna have to take control of it. But guess what? You're gonna have to, you know, have the right, you know, implant in your head, in your hand to to be able to obtain these things. You know, pursuing to Revelation chapter 13 and 16, right? Um So he's doing it on that level, man, but also spiritually, man, you know, he ain't feeding you with this truth. He ain't telling you the truth. He ain't giving you this food and this water. To, to 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 satiate you man to to help you he's about lies that's why he's deceitful that's why he's fraudulent right he he's doing everything against the most high all right so we're really getting for the vile person will speak villainy he speak all the wrong things man let's just check out this word villainy quickly senselessness folly disgraceful immorality Right, and everything, everything right now is immoral, man. They're, they're trying to make it sound like it's progressive, and you know, you know, everything in in this world, man. You know that he 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 brings into into forces righteous, man. You know, got a, whole, a bunch of whole alphabet people walking around doing all kinds of madness. You know, make you know making gen uh, genetically modified foods and stuff. You know what I mean? He just he's out just opposing everything, man. Okay, but it's disgraceful, folly, and immor Im of immorality, profane actions, disgrace, uh, contumely disgrace. That's a new word, contumely. What does that mean? <laughs> to check it out later. Um, yeah, wickedness, concretely acquired by extension, punishment, folly, vile, villainy. All right. So that's that's what Esau be doing, man. Okay. So, um, for the vile person will speak villainy and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy right? and to utter error against the Lord to make empty the soul of the hungry and so he's going to cause people to starve like I said this, this, this situation is engineered so the fact that you know you've got high, high food prices right now the fact that you know you're having problems with um, I mean it's not all, all him necessarily but you know, the fact that, you know, you got all these um, food processing plants, you know, ending up on fire for some reason, you know, or, you know, he buying farmers out, he telling them not to plant the crops or whatever, or he poisoning the crops. So he, whatever he's doing, man, he's doing all this stuff to, to cause the situation, right, to, to, to um, create this food scarcity and, and outright, you know, expensiveness of it because of the scarcity, right, affecting, he, uh, affecting the, the supply. So he actually gonna make people go hungry, right? The water ain't gonna be good to drink. This man's been polluting the water for for, for ages, <laughs> but now because you know we had a heat wave here in the UK. Apparently, new record numbers, whatever, man. But you know, no doubt the whole thing about all oh, the water, because it's happening in other countries. The the, the water supply, all oh, the water, you know. Our rivers are running low, our reservoirs are running low. So we're gonna have to restrict the water supply, you know, you're gonna have to tighten your belt on the water usage. You know, it's happened before. So no doubt no doubt those things are coming to play eventually. I ain't seen nothing yet on the news, but you know, concerning the UK, but 
No doubt that'll come along at some point. So these people, you know, are not going to be able to, you know, get their fill of water, man. <laughs> right? But anyway, verse 7 says, The instruments also of the Cho are evil. Right? He devised uh, wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words. Right, that is that is like one of the greatest tools that Esau's got, apart from the sword. Okay, is 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 deceit, is lying words. Okay, he he ain't doing nothing but lying all day long, having you people living in in, a, in the matrix, man, under these these false impressions, under these lies. Thinking, thinking you thinking that the world is, you know, a particular way when it ain't. You know. And like I said, it's all to destroy the poor. It says, um, even when the needy speak of right, okay, the needy being the men of the Lord, right, the meek, the Lord's chosen men, we out here speaking the truth out there on the highways and byways, you know, and through the, you know, through the YouTube and that doing these lessons, you know, but we're the, you know, we're classified as the evil in this world, all right, and you know, they, you know, it's made sure that people will look at us that way, all right, because people believe the way. The ways of Esau, right? It says, uh, but the liberal devises liberal things, right? So liberal going back to the word noble in in these in these uh, scriptures here, right? But the liberal, the noble devises noble things, right? And that's what he's speaking about us, right? And by noble things shall he stand, right? Because what 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 we are what what are we about? The word of the heavenly Father and His Son. Okay, they're the righteous things in this world. But these are the right things. Right? And we stand by those things. And we're going to be left standing on those things. Right? As this place crumbles and falls apart. You know? So, you know, as you know, I said, I was reading this, I thought it was interesting, man. So, you know, let's just get some precepts to some of these verses here. Alright. And we'll go back to this here. Right, because it said here what um it says for the vile person will speak villainy and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy. Right? These men are always at work doing doing some type of evil, man. Right? This goes into Micah 2 and 1. It says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. Okay, Esau is in the power seat, right? Esau is is the one scheming and plotting all the damn time to further his agenda. Okay, and they don't stop. They always, you know, continue on that path, man. Okay, they ain't stopping for nobody. They don't care about people. You know? But they're, hev they're heavily at work, man, right now. Okay, you think, oh, this is all just coincidences and that. You know, he's trying to make you believe, oh, you know, climate change is ruining the earth. No, it's just you. <laughs> right, it's just you. Right, the most I turn up the heat on this place, man. Of judgment, man, because of wickedness. Yeah, you can you can give all these uh pseudo scientific reasons why this is all happening, man. The, the, the reasons all me behind all things is spiritual, <laughs> you know. Anyways, um, where you go to now? It's uh, Psalm 64, verse 2 it says, Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Right, the secret councils, you know, where conspiracies are born, okay, from secret councils, right? You know, because you ain't gonna know what the councils are about. You don't know what they're discussing. You know, the only reason why we know what they're discussing because it's here, here in the scriptures, essentially, right? And all the, all the, all, you know, and the evidences of of the direction of where they're going. That's the only reason why we know we ain't, we ain't sitting in there in the council with them, you know. But we know through the spirit, you know, and through these scriptures here, right? We know what's going on. All right, it says, Hide me from the secret council of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. 
they commune or they snares privily, saying, "Who shall see them?" All right? They got the whole world blinded right now, man. They got the whole world concentrating on so many different things, man. They can't really see what is actually going on. You know, it's only the men of the Lord that know what's going on. You know, and that's you know, saying through the Spirit and power, Yahweh Shimei Shai. You know, for receiving His word. But he's so got you so so you know so focused on so much different things right now. Like even the people that think they understand what's going on, he got you focused too much on something. You're hyper focusing on something that's not, you know, completely relevant. You know, he's got your attention away from what you need to be focusing on, man. Which is these, these words here in this in this in this book. Okay, the Most High's word. That's what we need to be focusing on. And understanding. But like I say, he's still got plenty of distractions out there, man. Plenty of movements going on. Because like I say, he's always plotting, always devising wickedness. Okay? The rabbit hole is deep. Alright? Well, here. Yeah. It says, um, they search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. Okay? This is like I was saying. You know, they, they've got so much things going on. Uh, they've got people distracted from what's really happening, man. You know, but all of this, even even the, even the, the so-called woke ones, that Esau is manipulating these woke ones to cause these these uh, these protests and to cause the anger and the hatred and you know to to spreading um, these so-called conspiracies to get people riled up and it's it's all manipulated and controlled. You know, they want opposition because they want to bring this chaos into this world, man, to 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 to, to you know break it and reset it. It's all part of the plan. You know? Uh, it's uh, Isaiah 29 verse 16. So surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the pot is clay. Uh, he saw turn, uh, you know, everything in this world that's supposed to be good, he turns it into evil, man. And all the things that are supposed to be evil, man, he turns it into good in this world. Got you convinced that you know being being a flamer is 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 progressive. It's cool. It's good to allow someone to express their individualities and all this business. But that's evil in the eyes of the Lord. You know, and there's so much other things you know that he saw. He, he brings out and he you know he portrays it like it's a good thing. Really, it's wicked. You know, and people just go along with it, man, because he makes him feel like he makes people feel like a, you know a, a demon for not, you know, uh, accepting somebody else or for you know for whatever reason, you know, like he the like he the reasonable one. No, he just the devil, man. He just trying to he just kind of trying to convince you, you know, to let this wickedness go on. All right. It says, for the works, uh, for shall the work of him that made it, he made me not, or sorry, for shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not, or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding. All right, so he saw, he, you know, eventually people are going to realize, man, this was a dark, dark error full of, you know, foolishness. All right. People gonna understand that this everything that was being done was is wicked. Okay, you're not gonna be remembered in a good light, man. Alright. Mm, let's see here. This is um so the utter error against the Lord, right? This is equal thirty five and twelve. Says and, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, and that I have heard all thy blasphemies which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying they allowed they are laid desolate, they are given us to consume. Thus with your mouth you have boasted against me, and have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them, right, Lord. It's seen and heard everything, everything you've ever said, everything you ever thought. The Most High knows. 
right? How much you'd be disrespecting him, man. You know? It says, Thus says the Lord, power, Yahweh, when the whole world rejoiceth, I will make thee desolate. It says, and as thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of, of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all I do me, even all of it, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Right? The Lord has got a great judgment set upon you, man. And it's just a matter of time before that judgment is executed. All right? This is Revelation from Revelation 13 and 6. Then he opened his mouth in blasphemy against the Most High to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. All right? So the Most High, like I say, he's keeping account of everything that you've been doing. Okay, the Lord ain't going to forget none of it. All right? Uh, back in verse 6 here, it says, um, it says uh, to make empty the soul of the hungry and will cause the drink or the thirsty to fail. Right? Is that mm. okay? Yeah. So if we just take you know, these um, verse five in this as well, right? We'll go here, Second Ezra. Right. So that kind of combines these two. Right. So um, I read from, from verse fourteen, Second Ezra fifteen and fourteen it says, "Woe to the world." And then that door therein says, For the sword and the destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. Right? You know, these people, these nobles, that they don't respect them no more. Right? They're not going to be looked at like, you know, how, how, you, how they want to be perceived anymore. You know, the people are not going to have any respect for them. Right, and they're gonna rise up against their, their leaders, their governments, right? So they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride the city shall be troubled. And and that's what you are starting to see, man. All these cities, all these places around the world, you know, they're being troubled right now. Okay, resent is is uh increasing around the world. You know, pursuing to their leaders and stuff, man. All right. It says that the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and from great tribulation. Right. So the lack of bread situation is coming. Right. And he and in he's sort of literally gonna withhold food and drink from you, man. He's gonna be rushing it off to you. Right. But you're gonna have to meet some um, conditions for that. Right, because this system, as you know it, man, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna crumble. All right, and they're gonna be quick to replace it. That's what they're preparing right now. Okay, that's what you know the whole CDBDC thing, that uh, that whole thing's about, man. The new system. Right, and the best way to you know um, use that system. Okay, that's what the MLTB is about. You know, that's what the infrastructure with the Internet of Things is all about. Right? And you won't be able to buy or sell save he that had the mark. Right? That's that's what it is. That's the cage that they are creating. That's the system that's going to replace this current one. All right? This is to make empty the soul of the hungry and it will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. Well... I say in a little in a literal sense, man, you know, there's gonna be lack of bread and it's gonna be because of what these guys are doing right now. Alright, and what the most high is doing, you know, adding to, to the to the issues, man. Causing drought, causing forest fires, causing uh, you know, locusts to come and destroy crops, you know, causing or causing floodings, all all the different extreme weather anomalies and all that kind of business the most high is doing. You know, people are, uh, uh, you know, can't feed their, their, their livestock. So they, they just, they got, uh, you know, um, slaughter the cow or, you know, whatever. They got slaughter their animals, man. Can't keep them. Can't get rid of them. You know, the whole war in Ukraine is, you know, uh, adding to those problems. Right, but again, this all engineered 
all right so yeah you know that's pretty much all i've got man so you know i just found you know those verses in isaiah 32 interesting so i thought i'd share lord of ministers edifying and i'll catch you brothers and sisters in the next video man so the next time i say shalom